So you did it. You finally took the plunge and bought yourself that shiny new MacBook. The box is pristine, the aluminum gleams, and as you peel off the protective film, you can almost hear the possibilities whispering to you. It's a moment of pure excitement, a fresh start, and maybe even a little pride. After all, this isn't just any laptop. This is a MacBook, the gold standard of design and status. You're probably imagining yourself as the next big thing in cybersecurity. Maybe you've pictured late nights, coffee-fueled hacking sessions, and the thrill of outsmarting digital adversaries. You've seen the YouTube videos, read the blogs, and now you're ready to dive in. The dream is alive and well. You've seen the movies, the mysterious hacker in a hoodie, the Apple logo glowing in the darkness, fingers flying across the keyboard as they take down entire corporations in minutes. It's cinematic, it's cool, and it's exactly the vibe you want to channel. But here's the catch. Reality is a little less glamorous. Your MacBook, as beautiful and powerful as it is, is actually a pretty terrible choice for hacking. That's right. The very thing that makes it so appealing, its security, its simplicity, its seamless experience, also makes it a nightmare for anyone who wants to break the rules, experiment, or get under the hood. It's like bringing a Tesla to a monster truck rally. Sure, it turns heads. It's sleek, it's high-tech, and it's definitely impressive. But when it comes to the actual competition, the mud, the chaos, the raw power, it's just not built for the job. You're surrounded by rugged thinkpads plastered with stickers, machines that look like they've survived a war zone, and your MacBook is the odd one out. MacBooks are gorgeous, user-friendly, and absolutely perfect for creatives. If you're editing videos, designing graphics, or composing music, you're in the right place. But hacking? Hacking is about breaking things, not creating them. It's about pushing boundaries, not staying within them. Apple's ecosystem is designed for safety and simplicity. It's a walled garden, meticulously maintained to keep you safe from harm. But that same safety net is a cage for hackers. You want freedom, flexibility, and the ability to tinker with every part of your system. On a Mac, you'll find yourself running into walls at every turn. Think of your MacBook as a ticket to a controlled theme park. Everything is clean, organized, and carefully monitored. It's fun, it's safe, but you're always on the rails. You're not exploring the wild unknown. You're following the path that's been laid out for you. Hacking, on the other hand, is about finding the backstage. It's about breaking the rules, experimenting, and sometimes making a mess. Your Mac will resist you at every turn, throwing up roadblocks and warning messages, making even simple tasks feel like a battle. Sure, you can hack on a Mac if you're determined enough. With enough workarounds, virtual machines, and third-party tools, you can get the job done. But it's like hammering a nail with a screwdriver handle. Possible, but unnecessarily painful. Every step is harder than it needs to be. Why make things harder for yourself? Cybersecurity is already a tough field. There's so much to learn, so many challenges to overcome. Don't start your journey with weights chained to your ankles. Give yourself the freedom to move, to experiment, to fail and try again. That beautiful machine you just bought, it's holding you back. It's keeping you from reaching your full potential as a hacker. There's a whole world out there, Linux, open source tools, endless customization, waiting for you to explore. So, it's time to face the music. If you're serious about cybersecurity, it might be time to rethink your setup. The journey is just beginning, and the right tools can make all the difference. Apple's walled garden is more than just a marketing term. It's a carefully crafted, seamless experience designed to make technology effortless and beautiful for everyday users. Every detail, from the hardware to the software, is meticulously controlled to ensure that everything just works right out of the box. For most people, this is a dream come true. No confusing settings, no unexpected errors, just a smooth, polished journey from the moment you open your MacBook. But for hackers, this same perfection is a nightmare. The very walls that keep out confusion and chaos also keep out creativity and experimentation. Hackers thrive on the ability to poke, prod, and push boundaries, but Apple's ecosystem is designed to keep those boundaries firmly in place. Hacking is all about friction, curiosity, and the thrill of discovery. It's about finding out what happens when you break the rules, 
When you dig beneath the surface, when you make the machine do something it was never intended to do. But using MacOS is like owning a luxury car with the hood welded shut. Sure, it looks amazing and runs smoothly, but you can't tinker with the engine, swap out parts, or even peek inside to see how it all works. The tools you need to modify, customize, or truly understand the system are locked away, out of reach. Apple wants you to admire their products, not alter them. They want you to appreciate the beauty of the finished product, not the messy process of creation and experimentation that hackers crave. Hackers, on the other hand, want a beat-up project car, a machine they can tear apart, rebuild, and make entirely their own. They want to get their hands dirty, to learn by doing, to break things and put them back together in new and unexpected ways. The walled garden stifles this curiosity. It's like being stuck outside a beautiful garden, able to look in but never truly explore or change what's inside. For hackers, this is deeply frustrating. Serious hacking requires an environment you can mold to your will, installing obscure libraries, running custom code, and building tools from scratch. It's about having the freedom to experiment, to try things that might break, and to learn from the process. But on a Mac, even the simplest attempts to customize or experiment are met with warning pop-ups and security barriers. The system treats these activities as threats, not opportunities for learning or innovation. Macos's security features are relentless, constantly getting in your way, asking for permissions, and shutting down anything that looks even remotely risky. For a hacker, this is like trying to paint a masterpiece while someone keeps taking away your brushes. Apple's philosophy is fundamentally at odds with the hacker mindset. They sell polished gems, finished, flawless, and untouchable. Hackers want blank canvases, open to endless possibilities and personal expression, that minimalist interface you see on a Mac. It's a beautiful facade, but behind it are locks, barriers, and restrictions designed to keep you out of the system's inner workings. As a hacker, your instinct is to break in, to explore, to understand. You want to open doors, not have them slammed shut in your face. On a Mac, you're playing for the wrong team. The tools, the freedom, the spirit of hacking, it's all missing. You're left feeling like an outsider in a world that was never built for you. So maybe it's time to find a new playground. One where curiosity is rewarded, not restricted, and where the only limits are the ones you set for yourself. So, you're eager to transform your MacBook into a hacking powerhouse, ready to install all the classic cybersecurity tools you've heard about. Brace yourself, because what's ahead is more frustration than fun. Many beginners and even seasoned tech enthusiasts are surprised to find that their shiny MacBook, despite its power and sleek design, just doesn't play nice with the hacking arsenal that's standard in the cybersecurity world. The reality is, most of the essential cybersecurity and penetration testing tools are designed and optimized for Linux environments, not MacOS. Linux has long been the go-to operating system for hackers and security professionals, and for good reason. On a Mac, you'll quickly discover that many tools are either missing entirely, stuck on outdated versions, or require you to jump through hoops, like wrestling with third-party package managers, such as Homebrew or Mac ports. Even then, you might run into compatibility issues or find that the software just doesn't work as expected. Why is this the case? It's simple. Developers build for the platforms they use. The vast majority of cybersecurity professionals and open source contributors prefer Linux, so that's where their attention goes. As a result, Linux gets the latest updates, the best support, and the most features. Even if you manage to get a tool running on your Mac, it's often a stripped-down version. Tools that need deep access to your hardware, like those for Wi-Fi hacking or packet sniffing, are especially problematic. MacOS's security restrictions and hardware limitations mean these tools are often crippled or simply don't work at all. For example, Mac's built-in wireless cards almost never support monitor mode or packet injection, which are essential for many wireless attacks and network analysis tasks. And if you try to get around this by buying an external Wi-Fi adapter, you'll find that finding one that actually works with macOS is a headache in itself. Most adapters are built with Linux compatibility in mind, leaving Mac users with limited and often unreliable options. Across the board, the most powerful, up-to-date and reliable hacking tools are built for Linux. That's where you'll find the smoothest experience and the fewest roadblocks. 
Trying to use a Mac for hacking is like being a chef, forced to prepare a gourmet meal with only a butter knife. Sure, you might get the job done eventually, but it'll be slow, clumsy, and endlessly frustrating. That's why the pros use the right tools for the job. They choose Linux, not because it's trendy, but because it simply works better for hacking and security research. So don't waste your energy fighting against your own computer. If you're serious about hacking, consider switching to Linux or at least running it in a virtual machine. Your future self will thank you. Ironically, the security that makes Macs appealing is a hacker's biggest obstacle. Features like System Integrity Protection, SIP, and read-only system volumes lock down your machine, even from you. Many hacking tools require deep system access, but Macos blocks you at every turn. Disabling these protections is a hassle and defeats the purpose of owning a secure Mac. The OS treats you like a threat, not a partner. Ethical hacking needs freedom to experiment, but on a Mac, you're always fighting your own system. It's exhausting and wastes valuable learning time. Your computer shouldn't be your warden. But Macos is Unix. Isn't it just like Linux? Not really. Yes, Macos has a Unix-like foundation, but Apple's layers of proprietary frameworks and security restrictions make it a different beast. The open, modifiable spirit of Linux is missing. Package management is clunky. Homebrew is a workaround, not a native solution. Even basic command line tools differ, leading to confusion and broken scripts. Tutorials for Linux often fail on Macos due to subtle differences. The terminal may look familiar, but under the hood, it's Apple's world, with limits. For hackers, Unix-based isn't enough. You need true openness and control. Equal sign hardware matters in hacking, and Macs fall short. Built-in Wi-Fi cards on MacBooks rarely support monitor mode or packet injection, essential for wireless hacking. External adapters. Finding one with working MacOS drivers is a nightmare and Apple's updates often break compatibility. This problem extends to other peripherals, CAN bus tools, GPU cracking, and more. The security community builds for Linux and Windows, not Mac. You're left with expensive, niche, or unsupported hardware. Instead of hacking, you're troubleshooting drivers. The right hardware should empower you, not hold you back. Don't let your gear become a paperweight. Think you'll just run a Linux VM on your Mac? Not so fast. Apple's switch to M-series ARM chips broke compatibility with standard x86 Linux VMs. Now you're stuck with ARM versions of Linux, which often lack full tool support. Virtualization software is limited. Free options like VirtualBox barely work, and paid ones have quirks. USB pass-through is unreliable and performance can be buggy. The once simple just run a VM solution is now a mess. You're not getting the same experience as the rest of the hacking community. Hacking shouldn't be about fighting your hardware. Choose a platform that works with you, not against you. Hacking is about curiosity and control, asking what if, and having the freedom to break things. Macos is designed to prevent you from breaking anything, locking you out of the system's depths. On Linux, you're the master. On Mac, you're a guest in your own house. Features like SIP mean you never have true root access. Every experiment is a battle against Apple's restrictions. True hacking requires a blank canvas, not a paint-by-numbers kit. You need to be able to install, modify, and connect anything. Apple's philosophy stifles innovation and learning. Don't settle for a system that limits your curiosity. Choose an environment that lets you break and build freely. Here's the good news. The best hacking tools are free, and they're waiting for you on Linux. Kali Linux is the go-to for penetration testing, preloaded with hundreds of tools. Parrot Security OS is another great option, lightweight, privacy-focused, and hacker-friendly. Want more control? Try Debian for stability or Arch for ultimate customization. Black Arch offers thousands of tools for the hardcore. You don't need to ditch your Mac. Try Linux on an old laptop or a USB stick. Invest your time in learning, not fighting your OS. The knowledge you gain from Linux is worth more than any Apple logo. Your hacker journey starts with the right tool, not the right brand. Welcome to the real playground.